In today's video, we're going to review the process of importing an existing WVD deployment into a newly installed instance of the Nerdio Manager for WVD. So when you install the Nerdio Manager for WVD application, if you've already configured a tenant and host pools, you will see them listed as long as the user that you're logging in with has an RDS owner role on that tenant. So what you can see on the screen here is I have three tenants listed. These two down here, the production Acme Corp tenant and the validation tenant have been created through the Nerdio manager. And that's why, you know, they're fully manageable. I can click on them and, uh, and, and start making changes. But I have this one called existing tenant, which is a deployment created outside of Nerdio manager for WVD that has this exclamation point next to it. And it has a button next to it that says associate WVD tenant. What this is telling me is that there is a WVD tenant that I have access to in WVD management service, but it was not created through the Nerdio manager for WVD, and therefore it doesn't really know everything that it needs to know about it and doesn't have the necessary permissions. So the first thing to do is to click the associate WVD tenant button. And what this will do is it will assign the application service principle an RDS owner role on this existing tenant. So let's go ahead and click OK. Once we do that, you'll see that the tenant called existing tenant will now appear as usual uh, as all the other tenants that no longer has the exclamation um, mark next to it. And it's now fully manageable through the Nerdio manager. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the tenant. And I'll see that I currently have a single static host pool that exists inside of this existing tenant. I can see some of the information about it. I see that there are two users assigned, there are four hosts inside of it, and there is one currently active user session. And if I click on uh, the user sessions, it will actually show me that session. I can shadow it, I can log it off and disconnect it. So all the session management um, options are available to me right away. Now, what you'll notice when you click on the name of the tenant to open up the actual host management page, it will show you that it's seeing four registrations of WVD session hosts, but it's not able to determine what VM those WVD registrations actually belong to. And in order to associate them, there is a button next to each VM called Associate VM. So let's go ahead and click on that button. This is going to ask us to select the resource group where that VM is located. Once we select the resource group, then we can find the VM itself. And here are four unassociated VMs in that resource group. And the one I'm looking at right now is my WBD 0A8A, which is right here. I'm going to say yes, I want to associate it, and I'm going to click OK. This is going to create a number of Azure VM tags inside uh, of the Azure portal that's going to tell the Nerdio manager that this VM is part of the Nerdio manager for WVD environment. And once this process is done, then we'll see all of the management options for a session host VM listed. So we'll see things like power on, power off, uh, restart the VM, delete the VM, uh, all the standard uh, host management options will become available. And here it is. We can now see uh, what the VM, when it was provisioned. We can see the size and the disk. We see its IP address and resource group and network, um, and obviously the WVD status. And now you can see that I have the various management options available to me from this dropdown. Now, if we investigate what actually just happened, we're going to click on the VM name, which will open up the VM in the Azure portal. And if we go to the tags menu, uh, tags menu on the left here, we'll see the various tags that were just written to that VM to identify that it's now part of the Nerdio manager for WVD environment. Now we can do this one VM at a time, or we can bulk associate VMs. So there is a button on the bottom here called associate VMs. Once we click that button, we again select the resource group where those VMs are located and click OK. And the system is now going to automatically discover the VMs inside of that resource group and try to match them by the name of the WVD registration 
and it will do all of the VMs that are currently listed here to the best of its ability, assuming that the registration in WVD matches the name of the VM in Azure. Now that all of the VMs are associated, we see them all listed here on the screen, and now they can be fully managed in this existing WVD deployment, uh, even if it was created prior to the installation of the Nerdy Manager. See you next time.